Eight million dollars coming to Kansas to launch a plan to get broadband to areas where there is no internet available. Kaysen's Craig Andrus here to explain what it means for getting everyone connected. It's new at 10, Craig. With the cash, Kansas will launch the Digital Equity Plan. It's a five-year plan to get internet into those hard-to-reach places like the Flint Hills and beyond. But it will still take some time to get fast internet to everyone. It's helping. Every little bit helps. As CEO of SC Telecom and Medicine Lodge, Carla Shear's company got a grant back in 22 to help get fiber into the ground in rural areas to get good internet. It's a task that can cost many thousands per mile. But there, there's still a great need um, because there are still many Kansans that don't have service that's reliable or affordable. But help is on the way. So the money is there. It's still projected to not be enough, but the money is coming. Eric Sartorius is with Communications Coalition of Kansas and says Kansas has been allocated $451 million for Internet development by the feds, but it will still take some time to get the programs rolling out across Kansas. So it could be 2025, 2026, 2027. Uh, for some of these projects to get done. He also says getting a mapping plan out is what the Kansas Office of Broadband Development and others are working towards to have a plan to spend almost half a billion dollars in federal money to get internet in hard to reach places. As for the companies putting in broadband in rural America, real working broadband may be the push needed to see more people move back home. They were raised here and born here. They went off to the city. They've kind of done their things, but when they're ready to have a family, they want to come back and maybe live on the family farm or live in some of these small rural communities. With the state of Kansas digital equity plan being unlocked, expect bidding to begin as early as this summer on contracts for parts of that 400 million plus federal money for Kansas to get broadband upgrades. We'll keep you updated. Here for you, Craig Andrus, KSN News 3.